Hi guys, this is Sam Gabriel from Docker and in today's video I want to talk about a tool called DemoKit that was developed by uh, one of my colleagues um, in the solutions engineering team. Uh, his name is Aaron Miller, so shout out to Aaron. Thank you for, for this tool. And what it does, it basically builds um, a complete infrastructure in AWS with Docker Enterprise Edition already installed and ready to go. And the reasoning behind this is to quickly stand up an environment, to demo on it, to trial it, and so on. So I'd like to show this to you in this video so that you can easily get up and running, uh, test Docker EE, and, um, and not have to worry about uh, the infrastructure underneath. So let's go ahead and do so. The, f the first thing you want to do is uh, do a Docker run demo kit slash demo kit and it's gonna just grab it from docker hub and run the container uh, in my case I already had it so I uh, had it locally so it didn't have to take too much time um, and then all you need to do is just follow the instructions on the screen they're very simple so you, you just need to create a directory create an alias source it run demo kit and it's gonna go through a series of questions and prompts uh, regarding your AWS setup and so on so I'll do that in front of you right now and don't worry I'm gonna delete all the keys and passwords right after this video so grab your AWS access key ID and the secret um, then, so these these are the IAM, so your credentials from IAM for the API to talk to the AWS API. Uh, AWS region will go with US East. Uh, you can also create, put in your domain um, domain name. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, and it's going to go through and create a few things. And this is running uh, Ansible uh, in the background. So, all right, so that succeeded. Um, the next step, uh, demo kit AWS config. All right, let's do that. It's creating AWS key pair, uh, creating a VPC. Generating some certificates and private keys. It's also creating certificates from Let's Encrypt, so um, you don't have to worry about self signed certificates. Now this might take a little bit of time until it actually gets things going. So what I'll do is I'm going to pause the video and we'll resume once uh, once this is done. All right, so resuming here uh, didn't take that long. Actually, it could have just waited. So um, so it, it it's done here, and now the next step is if you actually type demo kit and hit enter it's going to give you some um, you know arguments that you can use for uh, for that demo kit command so as an example here the next step would be demo kit ee and that's what you probably want to try out so demo kit ee enter that and what you're going to see is you know some completion for the doc for the demo kit ee command 
So in this case, you can install it. Uh, you can start any stopped Docker E demo instances. You can check the status. You can shut them down. Uh, so let's say you want you've done your work on them and you want to shut it down so they're not running and um, incurring cost. Um, or you can terminate the entire environment. That will terminate all the instances related to Docker EE. Uh, or you can also run some Windows nodes as well. So the Docker EE install, as you can read here, it will install UCP DTR and some Linux nodes. Uh, but you can also uh, install some Windows nodes as well. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be installing uh, all of that. So if we go into demo kit and do a quick ls, uh, go ahead and, and look through the through that if you're going to read the YAML file. Um, if you want to look at the settings and, and go and read some of those settings as well, where you can define the, uh, the security groups for AWS, um, you can also check. The Docker uh, EE YAML file. You can see the latest UCP version DTR. We're, we're using the latest version. You can see the engine uh, version that we're running. Um, what else do we have here? We can check the AWS EC2 YAML file as well. So um, here you can see the definitions for the instances that we're that we're pulling. So. Um, we have one UCP, so count of one, a one DTR node. You can see the sizes of those. Uh, Linux nodes, we have three workers. Of course, you can change that number and, uh, and run the playbook, the Ansible playbook, and adjust that accordingly. We have two Windows nodes. You can, you can run something called Docker EE test. So if you don't want to mess with the original installation and you want to uh, create something on the side, you can also do that, um, and so on. All right, cool. So what we want to do is, again, type demo kit, take us back, and what I want to do is demo kit EE install, and then it's going to take you through uh, a series of questions as well. So what's the Docker EE URL? So that when you download the uh, the um, when you download your uh, license, you're gonna find under. Let me take you back. So here I'm on store.docker.com. You go to my content. And you'll find uh, a trial version, one like this one, but just hit setup. We'll take you to the screen. Uh, this is the URL we're asking. So copy that and enter it. And then you need the Docker EE license. You can do it now or you can apply it later. In this case, what you do is you download the license key. And I have it already downloaded, so I'm going to just go grab it. Grab the JSON, copy that, and paste it in here. Um, okay, you can change the UCP admin password. I'm going to leave it as is, contain yourself, and it will start working. So while that works, if I go back to my console really quick, Look at the EC2 instances. You can see uh, it's it's already built one here. And once it completes, we'll we'll take a look and see all all the instances that uh, that have been created. So let's go back here. Uh, once again, I'm going to pause the video, save you some time, and then we'll get back once it's uh, complete.
All right, so it's complete. You can say you can see the uh, <clears throat> Ansible play recap. So it created a, a DTR instance, three worker nodes that are all Linux, and uh, and UCP one. So um, <clears throat> what we can do is we can go back to the console just to confirm, and you can see it's all they're all created here. <clears throat> so you can open a new tab, uh, UCP one. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> As you can see, it's it's a valid certificate. It's not a self-signed one. We're now in a Docker Enterprise uh, Edition 2.0 on the UCP node. So <clears throat> you have UCP ready to go. And let's open a new tab to go to DTR. And here's your DTR with some repositories that have been um, populated by uh, by the Ansible playbook as well. So you can go ahead and play around with them. They're already, you can see the nodes are already joined to the cluster. If you go to shared resources and nodes, <clears throat> they're already there and ready to go. They're all healthy and great. So you can do the exact same thing. You can add a... <clears throat> Type demo kit again. You can add uh, Windows nodes as well. So demo kit uh, EE and Windows. Okay. Change me, please. I'll leave it at that as the uh, admin password for Windows. <clears throat> and once again, I'll let it to run. But you get the idea. It's going to create the uh, two Windows instances that we've defined <clears throat> in the YAML file. And it's going to uh, download the engine on top of them and join them to the uh, UCP cluster. And we'll be good to go. So I'll pause it for a few minutes till it's done. And then I'll show you the end result. All right, so it completed, but there was an error. So if that happens. Uh, all you need to do is just run run the command once again and second time around it, uh, it should work so that has happened to me before but uh, the good thing about uh, Ansible is it, it doesn't care it will, it will check everything and won't make any changes unless it needs to so that's fine so once again I'll pause the video until it completes all right so it Completed successfully this time around, and you can see the two Windows hosts right here. And let's uh, go back to the e EC2 instance, um, the AWS console, I mean, and look at the instances that we've got. And now you can see we have all of them. So we got DTR, we got UCP, we got two Windows nodes, and three Linux worker nodes. Now, if we go back to um, UCP UI and go back to the nodes. You can see that all the nodes are here, all green, healthy, and part of the um, part of the cluster and joined. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks once again to Aaron Miller. And if you want to see the GitHub repo, it's right here. Um, Get a Miller slash demo kit. So you can go back and, and read a little bit here. It's not a big a README file, but as you can see, it's uh, it's very easy to follow just the uh, screen instructions. Thanks again for listening.